All right, my dear friends, we now go into the next part, concept of this particular chapter, and that is order of reaction. Now, what is an order of reaction? We try to understand that. Okay. So, first, we go to the rate of expression. Pe jate wapas, and I hope you still recollect. R is equal to K, A raised to X, and B raised to Y. Okay. Now, X and Y are nothing but the powers, right? So, if I'm going to make it as X plus Y, so this X plus Y is going to be nothing but the overall order of the reaction. Okay. So, what is the overall order of the reaction? It is nothing but the sum of the powers of the concentration terms which are involved in the rate law expression. Okay, it is what the sum of the powers of the concentration terms which are involved in the rate law expression. Now, give some examples. Let us consider a reaction of decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. What will we do? 2H2O plus O2. अगर मुझे इसका रेट लॉ एक्सप्रेशन लिखना है तो दैट मींस के विल बी इक्वल टू नथिंग बट इट इज H2O2 लाइक दिस ऐसा लिखूंगा देखिए दोस्तों मैंने आपको पहले ही बताया दिस इज नथिंग बट द कोएफिशिएंट स्टोइकोमेट्रिक कोएफिशिएंट और ये रेट लॉ एक्सप्रेशन जो एक्सपेरिमेंटली हमें मिला सो देयरफॉर वी से द ओवरऑल ऑर्डर इज फर्स्ट सो इट्स अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन ओके सिमिलरली अगर मैं ऐसा लिखता हूं H2 plus I2 and it gives me what 2 H I the rate law expression यहां पर R is equal to K यहां पर भी R is equal to K into concentration of H2 into concentration of I2 तो मैं क्या लिखूंगा it is first order with respect to H2 first order with respect to I2 and therefore overall it is a second order reaction Okay, individual reactants के हिसाब से हमें order find out करना है। Okay, if they are involved in the rate law expression, okay यहाँ पर तो कोई है ही नहीं, so that means directly we say it is the first order। लेकिन यहाँ पर with respect to H2 first order, with respect to I2 it is first order। तो overall मैंने आपको जैसे बताया था, it is nothing but x plus y, so one plus one gives you what two, so it is a second order reaction। Okay, आई बात समझ में? Okay, so what is an order of reaction is basically nothing but that we need to consider the rate law expression. Usme jo powers hai, jo concentration terms of the reactants which are involved in the reaction. Okay, agar ek se zyada hai, to fir uska summation karna hai hume. Okay, and that will give you the overall order of the reaction. And individual reactants ka jo power hai, so that will be the order with respect to that particular reactant. Okay, samaj mein hai baat hi aap logo? This one. Right. Now some main features about this order of reaction. Okay, we say key features of the order of reaction is first one is it is experimental. Okay, because we get the values from x and y. Okay, and x and y is experimental. So if x is experimental, y is experimental. So obviously x plus y also is experimental. So this is the first point. It is experimental. Next one is it can have values which can be zero. Okay, or it can be a whole number, or it can be a fraction. Okay, I will give you an example. CH3CHO, okay, it is going to decompose to give you methane and carbon monoxide. Its rate law of expression is R is equal to K, CH3CHO raised to 3 by 2. And therefore, what do we say? The overall order of reaction is 3 by 2, which is a fraction. Okay, yeah, 1.5. Okay, that is also we can say. Next one is, uh, I give you another reaction and that is say NO2, nitrogen dioxide plus carbon monoxide. Aapko dega NO plus CO2. Okay, now the rate of this reaction R will be equal to K NO2 raised to 2. Okay, here rate by expression. So, isse kya pata chalega? K, it is second order with respect to NO2 Now look at this, CO is a reactant in this particular reaction but in the rate law expression is it appearing? No So therefore zero order I said that the order can be zero also So zero order with respect to what? CO And therefore 
the overall order of this particular reaction is simple 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 so it's a second order reaction Okay, so once again I repeat NO2 plus CO gives you NO plus CO2. Now, if you rate law explanation, find out kiya, ye mila hai. this is experimental. And in this rate law explanation, mein CO is hai. Okay, but the concentration of the carbon monoxide is not at all affecting the rate of the reaction. Okay, so it is zero order with respect to carbon monoxide and second order with respect to NO2, and therefore we say the overall order is going to be the second order. Okay, ये बात आपको याद रखनी है। Okay, next one is generally ऐसा देखा गया है कि higher order reactions. Okay, I'll just write down over here like this: higher order reactions are very few. They are very scanty. Okay, यानि order which say greater than three, they are very less. Okay. Because in this case what happens is if there are too many of the reactants involved in that particular reaction, obviously the efficiency of that particular reaction will decrease. Okay, so if we go into the elementary reactions and all that stuff. Okay, what are those? I'll explain you in the later part of the chapter. But generally, when I talk about the overall order of the reaction, we say that greater than 3 is going to be what? Less. Higher order reactions are less. So we normally have a first order reaction, we got a second order reaction. At the most, we have got the third order reaction. But the fourth order, fifth order, sixth order reactions, okay, the chances are very, very less. Are you understand me? So I guess, the concept with respect to the order of the reaction is very clear to all of you all.